Let's have a look at question 1a of the 2019 Admin and IT paper. Now task 1a, B and C actually, is testing you on databases and task 1a is looking at database tables. And you'll see on the left hand side that you've been given the database file which you will have, St Andrews Cayley 2019, and within that database we do have a number of tables. One is called tickets and one is called venues. And we've been asked to use the information below to print the updated venues table showing all fields. So first of all, let's go into the venues table and have a look. Here we have it here. We've got various various field names um, and we've got information in there. And the first thing we're being asked to do is to change the format of the date. If we look at the date, it's in a short format and it has to be changed to a long date. The way to change it is not here, we have to go back into the table design. So we're going to go back up to view on the, the far left hand side, click on view and let's change it to design view. And now you can see how the table has been set up with the field name and the data type. And remember, if you're choosing the data type, you just have to click on the cell there and then you get a drop down option and then you can make the changes. So we don't actually have a specific long date option. So when we go down to date of Kaylee, we don't have the option. However, if you go down a little bit further down to the bottom here and you'll see here format and you will see it has been um, put in there the short date. If I click on the white rectangle, I now get a drop down option. If I click on it once, you can see there are the various date options that I can choose. I'm doing this in field settings, so everything is going to change in my table when I go to view it. So let's change that to long date. What we could do is just have a little look. Let's have a view there. Oh, we'll save it. Yes, we will. And then let's go along and have a look. And now you'll see all the dates have changed to the long date. So that's the first thing done. It's also asking that we change the field heading from max, and I can see max here, to max guess. Well, again, I have to go in. If I'm changing my field headings, I've got to go back into the design view. And what I'm going to do is when I've got max, let's change that to max guests and then we can save it and then we can view it and now we see that we've got the max has changed to max guest and the date of the Kaylee is in the long format so that's two things done. The next thing you need to do is to make some changes to your table. The first thing to do is to change from the Meriden Hotel to the Thistle Hotel. I've actually done this already. Simply go up to the venue name and you can either highlight it and over type or delete and type in the correct name which has been done already. The next thing to do is to add a new record with the details below and again that's been done for you but note where it says the start time is 8 p.m. 8.00 p.m. the format we're looking for is in 24 hour clock with a colon 00. So be very careful when you're inserting data to make sure that it's formatted in the same way as the other entries. The last thing you've been asked to do is to print the updated venues table showing all fields. And the quickest way to do this is to go up to the top left hand corner and click on it once and it highlights the entire table. I would then go to file and then to print but do a print preview first. You'll see at this stage it is on portrait and it's going to go over two pages. So the way to sort that is to go up to the page layout, change it to landscape and I can see that all my fields are there on one page only and then you can print it out. So that's how you do task 1A.